President Moon Jae-in has demanded officials deal with Washington's unfair trade measures, even floating the possibility of taking the matter to the World Trade Organization. His remarks followed the U.S. Commerce Department's proposal of slapping hefty import tariffs on South Korean steel, which it says is being dumped on the American market. Our chief Chongade correspondent Moon Gonyoung reports. Be bold and resolute in dealing with unreasonable trade protectionism. That's South Korean President Moon Jae-in in response to the U.S.'s plans to slap up to 50 percent import tariffs on washers and solar panels and the Commerce Department's latest recommendation to President Trump to impose steep curbs on all steel imports from a number of countries. On that list, South Korea. At a weekly meeting with its top aides on Monday, the South Korean president kicked off the first workday following a long holiday weekend on a stern note against Washington's move to protect its manufacturers. This is the strongest word yet from the South Korean president on the U.S.'s stepped-up efforts to protect its industries, and it came with a prescription seeking a fundamental solution to the nation's export structure. 또한 우리 기업의 수출 경쟁력을 높일 수 있도록 혁신 성장을 더욱 속도감 있게 추진하는 한편, 신북방 정책과 신남방 정책의 적극적인 추진을 통해 수출을 다변화하는 기회로 삼아 나가야 할 것입니다. The new northern and southern policies or strategies introduced by South Korea's Moon Jae-in administration aimed at expanding economic cooperation and exchanges with nations to the north, Russia and Eurasian economies, and to the south, linking South Korea, Southeast Asian nations, all the way to India. The South Korean president's unusually tough orders regarding Washington's growing appetite for trade protectionism is noteworthy, as the country in question is a U.S. and ally key now more than ever, considering the change in dynamics involving North Korea. The Blue House, however, drew a clear line between security and trade affairs, saying the president is adamant on keeping the two issues separate. Moon Gonyo, Arirang News, The Blue House.